I spent $30 on this. Hello everyone, Underage Drinker here, back again with another video, and I have no idea how to begin this, other than to say that personally, I think that wine tastes like shit, so when I saw that one of my favorite artists, Post Malone, was releasing his own brand of wine, I decided to try it. Now you can hate me all you want for not liking wine, but personally I think that wine tastes like unwashed nutsack, but a lot of people seem to like wine, and when I watched a lot of reviews on this, a lot of people gave it like a 10 out of 10, but then I watched their other videos and they gave a lot of other wines 10 out of 10, including Sutter House, which I think tastes like dick. My main problem with reviewers and shit is just that, like, they don't feel genuine, they don't feel you know, like, they're real people reviewing a real product. They just feel like they're just paid to give something a 10 out of 10 and just cookie cutter, just fake. It just feels fake to me. So when I watch those reviews, I always thought in my head they're just probably just saying that this is good just because it's Post Malone and they don't want to hurt his feelings, man. Smash that like button. <laughs> I hate myself. So here it is in front of my face. I paid real money for it. The bottle looks like a giant butt plug, but I don't feel like I'm giving it enough justice, you know? I feel like I'm not dressed the part to review a product of this magnitude. I think I should be more formal. Well, yes, I feel like this is more appropriate. I look like I suck dick for homework, so this fits the part. And this isn't a clip on tie, this is real. I learned how to tie a tie for you fuckers, so you better feel appreciated or else I'm coming for you. All right, let's open this. I don't know if you can see that, but on the cap, it has a fucking engraving thing. I think it's kind of cool. There's still some fucking styrofoam cum on it. So the smell smells like wine. No fucking shit, but still, I don't know. They they review the smell all the time on the videos, so I'm just copying what they do. Shut up. But before I take a sip, Post Malone, if you do end up like somehow watching this video, which I highly doubt you will, but if it tastes like shit, no hard feelings. I love you, I love your music, you're a really cool guy, but I hate wine, so hopefully, Hopefully it tastes good or else I won't have to rip on you. Well, at least it doesn't taste like shit. That's all I can say. It doesn't have that zesty flavor to it or anything really special really. It just kind of tastes like rosé, any kind of rosé that you'll that you can find at a store. Maybe the reason why I can't like properly taste it is because they're professionals and I'm just an amateur 19 year old making videos on the internet to make my stupid friends laugh. But it's not bad. It actually isn't that bad. It's not worth the hype and definitely not worth 30 bucks, maybe 20, 22 dollars, in my opinion at least. I do like the artwork, I like the engraving on the cap, but to be honest, wine just isn't really my thing. If I were to choose alcohol, I would go for a good old whiskey, Jaeger, or Malibu. Those actually taste really good and get me fucked up. For any alcoholics watching this video, would I recommend Mason Number 9? That's what it's called. Honestly, yeah. Fuck it. It's worth a try, even if you just want to taste it just for the novelty like I did. The final verdict on this one, it's alright. Nothing too special, but if you like wine, get it at least once just for the novelty. However, I'm not going to drink the whole bottle by myself. I'm going to share it with one of the biggest alcoholics I know. Hello? Hey Jimmy, you want to hear a joke? Alright, tell me. What has a small penis and hangs down? Uh, I don't know. A bat. That's a really shitty joke. <laughs> yeah. But you want to know what has a big penis and hangs up? What's up? I didn't even ask him if he wanted a sip. So this is my review on Post Malone's Mason Number no. 9. Would I buy it again? Nah, not really. Unless the price lowers down. But as it stands right now, I wouldn't buy it again. Not even for the novelty. But hey, I'm keeping the bottle because it's cool as shit. I don't exactly know how to end this video other than to just say I'll see you guys in the next one and hopefully 
I could upload on a regular basis. But for now, I'm going to see which hole I can shove this up. Peace.